Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, we have got another update. Our weekly update today is Monday, which means it is claim day from all of our positions. So I'm going to be going over my positions today and telling you how much we've made in passive income for the week with yield farming. And then also I'm going to sort of explain what I'm going to be doing with some of these positions because you see quite a few of them are out of range and not providing many fees, particularly over on Uniswap. So I'm going to do some rebalancing and rejigging those around today as well. And I'll show you that process. But before we get into it, if you could please hit the like button, subscribe down below if you want to and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. Make sure to go follow me over on Twitter, link in the description. Check out the Discord servers, links are also in the description. And I'm going to leave two other links at the top of the description to two different platforms. One of them is going to be for Crystal. Now, Crystal is the app that we use to find new positions in DeFi and uh, for yield farming, sorry. And they have this point system so you can earn these crystals, which will turn into crystal tokens when they do launch. And you just essentially have to complete task right by using their swap feature you get 10 crystals for every dollar by using the swap feature here you can check in every day and it'll give you 10 crystals um just like that right uh, you can do a weekly quiz you can zap in zap out compound all the good stuff with yield farming if you use this app you'll get these crystals which will turn into tokens and also we have the aperture finance um link down below as well which again same thing you're going to get points just for doing tasks which again i'll leave a link down below for this one and you get these points which will turn into aptr tokens when they do launch and then again it's just free money so with that being said i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice always do your own research and be very careful about what you're investing in crypto and DeFi because it is the richest stuff in the world with that said let's jump into it so volume has been again pretty low about two billion yesterday up to about five billion um, so volume has been slightly down. The whole market has been moving um, kind of up and down, really. Bitcoin sort of hovering around 60 to 64, 65K, something like that. Ethereum kind of hovering between 28 and 3,100. And the whole market is just kind of moving sideways, going up and down as it does. So, yeah, volume is down. Um, the market's kind of doing all weird things, kind of just being stable which is fine as long as it stays in the same place, it is fine. Um, so let's see how our positions are doing. So let's first off start over on um, Aperture Finance and let's get the calculator out. So let's start adding up our fees. You can see the majority of them are out of range. So we've got $8.60 here, $8.60 for this Optimism and USDC pool. Matic and USD, we've got $5.92. Weath and Toshi, three, only three bucks this week. Um, Weath and USDC, $20.53. We have got only 67 cents here, which I am definitely going to get rid of this today. Um, plus 67 cents there. We got $1.82 here for our anime position, which again, I'm going to get rid of that. Weath and Fungi is $5.99. We've got AVAX and USDC at $7 for the week and $0.07. Cents. And then we have $11.63 here for 66 sorry, for this ETH and USDC pool. We've got $2.23 for our uh, Weath and Normie pool. We've got $10 here for our uh, aerodrome position. And that's it. The rest of them are out of range. So not too good this week over on Uniswap, only $78 over on Uni for the week. Now, if we take a look at Turbos, you can see we've got $16.85 there. $16.85, which if you haven't watched my video on SUI, the update, which I recommend you, I, uh, I'd recommend you to watch that. Essentially, I moved my SUI position over to USDC and USDT, just earning a stable 18% a year, just while SUI kind of, you know, has a has a little uh, kind of corrects itself and stays at the price and the reason for that is because one billion dollars worth of sui did unlock now i do believe it's probably had its sort of kind of correction i mean it's come down to 98 cents it went back up then it's come down so it's currently at 97 cents and i may start dollar cost averaging back into this position because if we take a look at the price range i mean you're currently getting 200 percent a year on this position right now which you get us about $23 a day if I move that 5.2K in here. So if we take a look at this, 
uh, let's say I move this range to like 88 cents, roughly something like here. And then you push this up to like 120. Again, we're going to get like just under 200% a year on this. So I may go ahead and jump back into the SUE and USDC position, but I haven't fully yet decided. Okay, so that is for that. Now over on Aerodrome, if we give this a refresh, we have three positions over on Aero at the moment, which are, let's wait for this to load, which are OVN and USD Plus. We've got Weath and TKN and we've got Weath and Wells. So in our OVN and USD Plus position, we've made $45.99 in passive income for the week, which again, the APR is pretty high on this. Um, Weath and TKN, we have made $84.65, $84.65. And then over on our Weath and Wells position, we've made $155.95. $155.95. One five five ninety five, which brings us up to three eight one so far. Now I did jump into another DAP called Sure Yield. Now again, I would be very careful. Don't blindly follow me into this because this is super risky. And I would not recommend it. I just did this as a little test. But right now, over on Weath and USDC, it is getting six hundred ninety six point seven eight percent APR. And the way they do that is they have a super tight range. Okay, they have a super tight range, and they kind of just consistently. Uh, auto rebalancing it. So we've made $32.61 over here, which again, I wouldn't recommend jumping into this. Um, I just thought I'd include it because again, it is part of the yield farming for the week, right? And I did forget to mention um, extra finance in the last couple of videos, but I still have my USDC and Aero position over on extra, which is making 181 per day. Okay, so we've got $414 here. So 181 times that by seven plus so we made about just under five hundred dollars for the week in passive income with yield farming and considering all of these positions haven't really been doing great that's not too bad so what am i going to be doing this week going forward well if we take a look at these positions here i am going to get rid of this one this one's going to be gone this one's going to be gone so within dino is going to be gone within anime is going to be gone Weath and Fungi is going to stay. Um, Arb and USDC, I'm going to rebalance this because this used to make $100 a day. Uh, sorry, $100 a week, roughly. Um, this Weath and USDC pool, let's see what range we've got that set to. 2992. Yeah, I think this will go back into range. I'm not going to rebalance this. Um, we have Weath and... Yeah. I mean, this definitely needs rebalancing because we got this at 114. It's going down at 99 cents. So I'm going to rebalance that. Um, and then with an error, we're going to leave that. I'm gonna probably going to, will I rebalance this? I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to rebalance that position. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, with an arrow here, 3118. Uh, yes, I will most likely rebalance this. Um, if I hit rebalance, how far out are we? Yeah, so I'm going to rebalance this position as well. And um, yeah, and the reason I'm rebalancing these, and I will rebalance my Weath and Brett pool as well. And the reason I'm rebalancing these is because remember, when you rebalance, you are locking in in permanent loss. But if your, you know, if your fees have made kind of made up for that in permanent loss along the way, then it's fine to do that, right? So this is what we're going to do this week is I'm going to get rid of some of these pools, rebalance some of these. Um, I'm going to start dollar cost averaging back into SUI, which will give us about $23 a day when I do move everything across eventually. Well, let's actually have a look. So if we go to the pro section and we pull this up to about 123 and we move that down to about 88 cents, so we're going to make 19391 per. So we made $500 for the week, right? So if we have 19391, uh, one. One nine three nine one divide that by three six five. So it's going to be about 0.53 percent per day. So we have five hundred thousand two hundred dollars times that by 0.53 percent. It's going to be about just under twenty seven dollars a day, which is going to make us about two hundred dollars a week. So that will increase our income by a decent amount. Um, and that is what I'm going to start doing now. Sui uh, Turbos did just come out with this auto rebalancing vault, which is currently doing six hundred percent APY. I don't necessarily like rebalancing vaults personally, just because I like to claim my fees every week myself. Um, so I don't really like them too much. But yeah, 
Aerodrome kind of keeping up our income for this week, the majority of it coming from Aero, which is nice. And that's a good thing, by the way, about doing yield farming is these positions that I have in Aero that have kind of held the weekly income up for the week. I haven't deployed new capital into those. I've taken capital that I've made and taken fees for the previous weeks and then deployed them in pools on Aerodrome after doing my research into the tokens. So that's a good thing about yield farming is when you take out the fees, I can then redeploy that. Like this $500 that I've made for the week, I can go ahead and redeploy that into another position and potentially earn you know, an, an extra couple dollars a day on that. Um, so that's the good thing about yield farming is you can consistently kind of scale it up, which is nice. So Aerodrome is, uh, yeah, holding up pretty nicely. There's a lot of positions where you can get crazy fees at the moment. But remember, if the fees are high, the tokens are probably risky and going to have a lot of um, volatility in the token. So do keep that in mind. But there are some decent positions over on Aero right now, which you can jump into. But yep, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I am going to have a couple videos out this week um, with some kind of passive income dApps. Um, and I'm going to do a video as well on how to structure a portfolio. And there's a kind of a few good videos coming out this week that I plan to record over the next couple of days. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.